Let's create a new template. Here, you will lay out the design for your product. Let's give it a name. We are going to start with the design that has more pet options, in this case 4. We'll start with a new blank page to set the dimensions of our print file. Dimensions are always in millimeters. In this case our page will have 230 by 90. Here we are in Customly's Design Studio. It's where we'll add all the layers that make the design. We'll start by adding a dynamic image for the quote options. Once you add the dynamic image, choose the library you want to use for it. You can drag and drop to resize and position the layer correctly. In this case, the quotes will go on the back side of the mug. If you change options, you can see that all the clip arts from the library are now inside that layer. We'll continue by creating dynamic images for the dog options, starting by the first dog. Pick the library, then resize and reposition the layer. The dogs will go on the front side of the mug. Use Ctrl or Command C and Ctrl or Command V to copy and paste the dog layer. Now we'll add text boxes so customers will be able to add their pet's name. Choose the font and the size you want the text to have. You can drag and drop to resize and position the text where it needs to go. Use Ctrl C and Ctrl V to copy and create another text. Choose the export format for your print file. In this case, we'll go for PNG with 300 dpi. When the print file is ready, you can move on to configure the preview. Start by choosing the background for the preview. In this case, we'll use a picture with the back and front of a mug. As you can see, all the layers from the print file are now visible on the preview. You can select all layers and drag them around to resize and reposition them so the design matches your product perfectly. Now that the preview is looking good, we can see how it compares to the print file. On the right, you can see the preview customers will see on your store, while on the left, you can see the print file you'll receive on the orders. Click on the layers to test how they will work. You can browse through the clip art options and type custom text. When you're ready, save the template and head on to the next video to learn how to create the variations for less number of pets.